All right, people. Game just wrapped up like five seconds ago. Had a great stream tonight. Thank you to everybody who showed up. I think we had probably around a thousand people pass through the stream. A thousand individual people had over 200 people in the stream at various points throughout the night. Um, had good engagement. We had a lot of fun. It was a big game for both teams in its own way. So I want to Thank everybody for showing up. Usually my Husky streams don't get that much attention, but this one really did blow up. Got a lot of people in there. We had a lot of fun tonight. So first, let me just say, great stream tonight. Loved streaming the Huskies games this year, and I imagine I will continue to do so for whatever game they get in the coming months. Okay, so, like I said, game just uh, wrapped up five seconds before I started hitting record, and... It, it was really interesting there, right? Because at first, at first it looked like the team was rattled a little bit playing in Pullman, right? Particularly Penix. Everything was overthrown. Everything he threw early in that game, except for the checkdowns, was thrown at 5, 10 yards over people's heads. Just, just, just crushing it. Right? And yet, and yet... This is the uh, the key part here. He got over that and ended up having one of the best games in Washington Pro Huskies program history by a quarterback. One of the best games that any quarterbacks ever had in the Apple Cup. Lighting up a really good defense for 518 total yards and five total touchdowns. It's kind of like what I saw from Gino when we played the Cardinals on the road. Um, you, that game, Gino started out a little shaky, made some mistakes, things were not going well, and then he just gathered himself and put the game away with dominant, dominant performances. And that's what Penix did tonight. Started out like maybe the hostile Pullman crowd was rattling him a little bit, Seemed like he was struggling to find his rhythm. I mean, even late in the game, he threw the bad goal line, um, end zone interception. Like, these are not the plays that we expect from Penix. These are not his greatest moments. But for him to overcome all that and still end up with this monster game, absolute monster of a game, dominant performance, Heisman-worthy performance against a great defense in a rivalry game, this is just beautiful. And I don't know if Penix is going to play in a bowl game because he might be thinking about going to the draft. I don't know if he will go to the draft even if he plays, but it's been great rooting for him. So that that's the main thing to take away from this one. Michael Penix needed to be great because the defense tonight, <clears throat> for a good chunk of this game, just completely lost the plot and was giving no support. Penix needed to be great. He needed to have one of his best games of the year, and despite the interception, I think he did. And that was with the rough start. So just think about what he had to do between those things. So, yeah, dominant, dominant football from Penix. Absolutely awesome. And you got to give credit to the guys who helped make it happen. The offensive line played a really good game against a, like I said, Cougar defense that is quite good. Um, you, you have to also look at it in terms of the receivers. McMillan and Odunzi both had over 150. Polk had a good game, productive game. He made that one big play uh, coming out of the uh, for, coming out in the fourth quarter, rather, I should say. So dominant performance by the passing attack when we needed it. Now the running game did their job tonight. Talu Papa played a really nice game, got nothing to bad to say about him. Cam Davis had the fumble. But he did come back and make good runs later in this game. But we needed every last bit. We needed every last bit of that passing attack from Penix to secure this victory. So, yeah, offensively, there's not much to say other than this is a special crew, special group of receivers. It's going to be sad to lose them because I think a lot of them, if not all of them, are going to the pros Going to be sad to lose this offensive line, which is filled with guys who I think will be playing on Sundays in the future. But it's been great rooting for them, and they've completed one of the greatest turns turnarounds in school history. And it's awesome. Now, obviously, we got to talk about this defense because Cam Ward 
played very similar to Penix, right? Cam Ward played a game that was very similar to the game that Michael Penix played. Yes, he missed throws. He was probably a little too amped up for the rivalry game, gave up some stuff in, uh, excuse me, gave, uh, gave up some easy completions by just overthrowing them and missing. I noticed that on the first few drives, but he constantly made up for it. Over and over and over again, he made up for it. By the way, I got to say, I think Cam Ward played probably one of his best games. Statistically, I don't know if it is, but I thought he did a great job using his feet to avoid pressure. We got pressure on him in this game constantly, and he shrugged off maybe, felt like 15 different sacks in this game. Like, he got sacked six times. But if it wasn't for his elusiveness and ability to use his feet to move in the pocket, he probably would have been sacked like 20 times. So I was actually really impressed with the way he played, and he almost beat us. Not good tackling, not good discipline on fourth down. It seemed like, especially <clears throat> in the middle point of that game, we we constantly got the Cougars into third down and fourth down, and we could never get them off the field. We could never finish the job. We kept giving up that one more play to keep the drive alive. And he, he, for a Cougars offense that is good, not great, <clears throat> but is good, there is a little bit of embarrassment there. I, I'm now, I'm not shocked by it. I knew Cam Ward was probably going to kill our secondary because they're not that good, but um, there were many points in this game where they could have just made one more play and they're good. One more play, they're off the field, and the offense that has been dominant basically the whole game gets to just take control. But they struggled most of the game to make that one play at the end of the drive to finally end it. I mean, how many times did we get pressure on Cam Ward and he would just find a way out of it and then complete some pass to a wide-open receiver because how are you going to stop the... Um, I mean, how are you going how, how to stop receivers from getting open for 12 seconds? But they found themselves in that second half really well. They were able to do it without turnovers. They were able to do it despite not necessarily having any big fluky plays go their way. They just eventually kind of grinded down on Cam Ward, I think, and eventually he wasn't able to escape those sacks. They were able to turn some of those close sacks into actual sacks. <clears throat> and that's how you get the win. So really happy overall. <clears throat> Obviously, there was a point where the defense reminded me of like the Nick Holt Huskies defense. You had the Nick Holt Huskies that gave up like 70 points to RG3 and Baylor that one time. It kind of reminded me of that at one point. But they got it together, and they looked like a real defense by the end of the game. And, I mean, but, you know, you got 50 points. You got 50 points in a game where your defense didn't force turnovers, and it's not like you were getting dream field position because of special teams every time. You had to earn those 50 points, and you did. So, awesome first year for DeBoer, whatever happens now. The Apple Cup is back in Seattle, where it belongs. So, I'm feeling good right now. Thank you, everybody, who helped make my Apple Cup stream such a success. Excited to see what bowl game we get, but I'll say this right now. My understanding is if USC wins the Pac-12, we probably make the Rose Bowl. If USC finishes the job against, I think it's going to be Utah, we get the Rose Bowl. And, I mean, that's a, that's a big-time bowl, so that means something to me. All right, talk more about that later. See you guys. Bow down to Washington. Huge win, dominant win on offense at least. And this team has a chance to be really good, like 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 nationally good in the very near future. We might even see them ranked in the top 10 tomorrow, honestly. That is a possibility.